Sounds like a resilient spirit. We will be freeing the goblin people from the tyranny of their own idiocy. Restoration? Lesser? Lesser restoration. <laughs> Let's do it. I am evil. Be the force! That's not evil. Uh, that's the best good we can do. What's the Necklace next of Fireball! Yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> Sturge! Oh, wait. There's what? probably a dead Sturge in the tree. What about that glue? Too. What's that good for? The only way to free people who have refused to Perfect. accept freedom is to kill them. Anyway. Good. Is it an unbreakable container? Uh, five, five oh, God, I have to steal the vials. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Cloak of Elven kind, anyone? Aren't you all ready? I forget what those do. Plus, plus five stealth. <laughs> Why are you looking at... I already have the best stealth. Give it to someone who... I don't it. care who gets it. There you go. Um, jar of pickles. <laughs> Probably only Sean can open. Why don't we make whoever opens up the new leader? Because <laughs> we just got a leader. Uh, four potions of cure moderate. <laughs> the drink closed now. We have a cleric. Some are uncompleted on injured to spell the thing that has happened to them. That's amazing. I have two hit points. You have a cleric! Me. Um, you so distribute those amongst yourselves. You were trying to kill those, those eagles. Why Potion of fire I'm just joking them with my... You're about you to all fight died. a fire-breathing boar. There's a potion of fire resistance. Fight amongst yourselves. Are any of us capable of understanding how that would help us? <laughs> He's got a 15 intelligence. I think I'm going to test this, this necklace is out on... This to you, of all of you. The freaking out. A uh, flaming dog slicer? Pulse. <laughs> Do you want the plus one flaming dog slicer? Very much so. It's all yours. It is a plus one... I hate to use the word masterwork. But it would have to be to get the plus one enchantment. That's a sense we didn't move to. That, uh, <laughs> that deals an additional 1d6 fire damage on a hit. I'm going to drink one of the potions. Why, do you have magic? I do. Now, you may rest and recuperate and prepare what you need to set out tomorrow morning I'm to hunt the Oka. Make okay. it bombs all night. Yeah, you actually have a quick... Alchemy or something like that? Yeah. We can do it in the morning. You're right. so, well, you, I mean, you can do it now, but you can do it in like an hour as mm. opposed to like. 14? Forever. Yeah. I'm going to start 14 immediately working on points? Mind yeah. Wog, a goblin's manifesto. <laughs> more? Oh, yeah. Mind so. And to your right. Mind so. Four, five. Six, seven, seven. No, six. I'm doing something wrong. Give me a second. What was that first number I gave you? I was right on the first one. Fourteen. And seven. That burger's staring into my oh, soul. Yeah. That's gonna be fun. What was that? I don't agree with my name. The, the hamburger on John's shirt was staring into my soul. So, this is what happens when we all go loopy. <laughs> How's the internet doing? I don't know. I can't see it from here anymore. Everything is blurry. Well, stop. Me no, stop. It's still blurry even if you get close. Next moon, shoot the beads from the necklace of fireballs after we toss them into the air of Bumahar Village. <laughs> I don't understand what this has to do with the Tomb of Horrible Things. Where's Dave? <laughs> Conveniently, my name actually is Dave, so here I am. <laughs> you don't know Dave was the mule's name, do you? I was asleep, thing to the Tomb of Horrible Things, sadly. But yeah, they actually did mention Dave the mule earlier. He was guarding the door so that none of them could leave. <laughs> Poor Dave. Outside. Yeah, we're talking about the actual door to this building <clears throat> that we're in. The house. The dungeon. Okay. You know what? I think I can actually handle the whole let's go fight the ogre and the fire breathing boars thing because <laughs> I know there's no more ridiculous all of that is I'm away from 
goblin leadership. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong! Um, I have an intelligence of eight, so... <laughs> Bow down, bitches! <laughs> hey! hey. <laughs> this, is, this is what happens. Uh, just How's your perception, <laughs> just hypothetically? Not good enough. <laughs> that would be a plus three. Okay. Excellent. You know, if you just killed one eagle, you would be cheating. <coughs> no, that is not true. Didn't you have an 18? No, I had a 14. Oh, who had the 18? I had Sean. 16. I oh, did. If you killed one more eagle, you'd be cheating. He would have yeah. been dead. He would have been dead. I performed abysmally in the first challenge. Somebody, one of us could have died. Yeah, I was keeping track of the points. I knew where I was. I knew there was no point in winning, so I decided to go for moral victory instead. <laughs> uh, How'd that work out? I don't know yet. Is there a bo goblin equivalent to the Unabomber? Because I'm yeah, he's right over there. Him. Wow. No, no. You just make bombs. There's more to being the Unabomber than making bombs. Mm. It's all about social reform. Mm. Air quotes. This is getting really like. This is kind of weird. <laughs> I I can't give them to you because you, you pretty much just blow yourself up. Actually, they become inert. Blow oh, your eye yeah, up, kid. That's right. How does that. that make any sense? I didn't write the rules, Scott. Because I know. I don't. Dumb. I don't understand how the alchemy class differs from it's just like James having Bond's craft alchemy. It's like, that's not a class at that point. That's just a skill. <coughs> so everyone does what they need to do. Got it's kind of yes, I'm now just scribbling into Did notebooks. Did you put anything in your hands, Marie? Yes. Did everyone yeah. sleeps and regenerates whatever you regenerate when you sleep. Done and done. I wasn't hurt. I, I don't even know where You pray to the bomb god. You pray to... Poogle, Zarengill. Level? What do we get back when we sleep? Your level in hit points. <laughs> oh, thank God. Worth it. How, how are you? Doing? 26 out of 30. Okay, you're fine. I'm just fine. Where are my hit points? What are we living? A cave. They tried to build huts and it became a sturge course. They couldn't build them properly on a, on a swamp. There was dry ground ten feet around. Because no we started off standing well. <laughs> With boots. Human boots. Was that the problem? Were they trying to build it while wearing human boots? No. <laughs> Alright, step one of Goblin Topia. Actual houses. They want uh, the, the Goblin DM. <laughs> To be a Twitter handle seemed. <laughs> so, are you not just book? screaming rants of why do we live like this over and over again? I'm pretty sure we just pile on. Want. Where's <laughs> Jason <laughs> Bowman? Is he in this feed? Nope. Your company published this. Yeah, he's just lead designer. I know it's not his company. You want to know who is? Yeah, who? Give me the name. I want to know. I got some tweets. What do you want? Publisher, <laughs> creative director, author. <laughs> <I'll pay laughs> <everybody. laughs> Richard Pett. Don't know what to do. Creative director, Pitt. James Jacob. There was no creative direction in here. Editor in chief, okay. F. Wesley it's Schneider. Very late. It is. Very Senior early. editor, James L. Sutter. This had two editors. I'm using that just for the, for the small descriptions. I'm using the, the, the. And a four person editorial team. Including. Well, that's probably just the editorial Judy team. Bauer, Logan Bonner. Christopher Carey and Ryan Macklin. Really? Logan Bonner let this... Okay, I believe that of Macklin. I shouldn't say this stuff out loud. Lead now. designer <laughs> Jason Bowman. But he's... No, he's the lead designer of Pathfinder. That's what... All that, all those credits at that yeah. point are just... Oh, hey, there's a customer service team. Yeah, get him on the phone. <laughs> Call him now. Um... I have some questions! <laughs> Unsurprisingly, <laughs> they didn't list a number. <laughs> but there's an email I bet they answer right away. Uh, sir, we can send them a Goblin, file. Gollum seems to have called last night. He was very upset about how we wrote the adventure. <laughs> 
And then came a screaming, angry oh. guy who claimed to be a barbarian. Uh, Darren, I, I may read every one of Angry's tweets from here on in goblin voice. <laughs> I can't get out of it now. That's the thing. Is as soon as I switch back to the goblin, I'm in that voice again. It's, <laughs> it's like Lumpy Space Princess all over again. I just get trapped in these things. No, I'm done. I said Lumpy Ogre. Oh, them all. that Dilly ew. Oh man. Oh God, I'm good. <laughs> this is totally. Wait, don't put it down. I'm trying to get the crumbs off my release. Nope. Works. <laughs> Kim is wandering off. Yeah. At least she's awake. It's true. She was asleep and wandering off. We had problems. I still want damn it. <laughs> she was asleep as she walked. What is that to say for you people? <laughs> what do you mean by you? Stop it. Okay. I don't think anybody could have slept through the last... A half hour, forty minutes of this adventure. Air quotes. It's a uh, it's a miracle I'm not hiccuping right now from all the. Yep. Same here. Yep. I I'm pretty sure I left for the entire half hour. Mm -hmm. Kim's not gonna listen to the paper text anymore, right? Yeah. We'll fill her in. The bird countries expect their new leaders to head out the very next day to challenge and hopefully defeat or drive off an ogre known as Pa Munchmeat. <laughs> <laughs> So we're we're go, we're gonna try and kill one of the Beverly Hillbillies. Is right an ogre. Yeah. What makes us think we can kill an ogre? Your chieftains. What about what we did yesterday qualifies us to kill an ogre? You survived. As the ogre, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Like as we get into the ogre's lair, there's like magical darkness, so none of us can see. And then he is on the other side of like this boiling mud pot. Show me. He's got Gandalf guards, and, and it's like the ending of Kung Fu Panda, where everything that happens in the last ten minutes of that movie was foreshadowed throughout the entire movie. Was every skill um, he Sean? They're over. worried you're dead. What? Sean is not dead. You just flop forward and put your head on the table. He's... Green but wouldn't that be you. amazing? Like, then I would have to take it all back. <laughs> I want to write You're that adventure. You're not going to take it all back. I'm just telling you. I want to write just, that adventure where you do like six absurd it, things, and then all of them add up to the last encounter. No, it's way better if Scott continues ranting like this. <laughs> it's good for viewership, too. That's true. People, We're up to 13. Why are what? people... From 11. It's 6 in the morning, and people are coming in to hear me scream totally in Goblin in about Goblins. What's wrong with your people? They're all West Coasters. Go to your home. It's still like two in the morning over there. Yeah, think of where we were at two in the morning. Right here. Yeah. So I, I've got the welt to improve. Why is Mummy Sprattlehosh has a few words of advice for you? Oh, this can be great. <laughs> ready for this one? She no, warns you that the fire breathing boar breathes fire. Good advice. Someone actually got paid to write that. Brilliant. <laughs> I want that. And that job. palm munch meat hits hard. He also casts spooky pants spells and has a mean. Wait, 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 wait. Did you say spooky pants? Plant plant spells. Our time. He's trying to tell you he's a druid. Oh, no. Thank you. I understood the subtext. Pants has a pants mean up. daughter <laughs> with a pet weasel a bigger than a horse. Are you sure it's a weasel? <laughs> if it's bigger than a horse, I could be literally anything else. <laughs> it's a giant. It's could a, it maybe be a bear? It's definitely not a giant dire weasel. Great, it's definitely not that then. Okay. Um, uh, I don't think you're qualified to identify these things. Um, it's oh, not right. at all. And there might be other it's monsters dragon. living on the farm as well. So the redneck ogre lives on a farm. So we're gonna oust the ogre that has actually figured out civilization? <laughs> Maybe we should go and let it lead us. <laughs> um, I mean, that, that's a she also, solution. It also has tamed fire breathing bars. I imagine that's pretty tough. She also, uh, We can't tame <laughs> eagles with clipped wings. That you shouldn't return unless you finish the task. Come back. Come back on your 
with your shield or on it, but in the goblin tongue. I'm not a muffle. I'm just gonna come up with some. I'm just gonna come up with some sort of ridiculous idiom. But I really got nothing. I still can't get past this. Should should we even come back? There's there's probably other tribes. I'm gonna tell the dark ones not to rub them off. Um, the money I saw with I saw with the ogre. Orcs are smarter than we are here, though. Lies about two thirds of a mile from the village. It's a relatively short distance. Boom. As the bird flies. If we oust the ogres, then we lead the goblins to the farm. Then we have a farm. Then we start mm. goblin mm. farm. Mm. Goblin turpia. Mm. <laughs> um, Sounds good. You're a little wrong. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yarn out. Only if you knock off Mevis on the way. No problem. Accidents happen. <laughs> Especially with fire breathing boars involved. What boars? Yeah, yeah the, the one picture on that, that is not. Oh, like, yeah. Or <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, there they are. That's fire breathing boar chasing down. Is that goblin juggling lit explosives? Yeah, that's him. Hello. <laughs> That's him. Yeah. Am I the one that's on fire? <laughs> no, you're the one uh, up here with the dog slicer. The one that has cunningly gotten behind the creature and is attempting to stab it away from the right. fighter ring. Yeah, that makes sense. So basically, I am depicted as the most intelligent goblin on the cover. Probably. It's definitely not the award winner back here. And your friend. Juggling bombs. Yeah, the, 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 the boom. <laughs> <laughs> I started to crush to my choice of friends. I brought a whole new meeting to the Goblin game of Hot Potato Bomb. Why do we have any meaning to that to begin with? <laughs> so, it's about an hour long walk through the tough terrain to get to the farm. <laughs> Wise mummy spread loss draws you a crude but accurate map. You all. <laughs> I wouldn't really trust her too much. No trouble. No, no, I say we follow it. What's the worst that happens? <laughs> you get to somewhere. We find else the ogre. Yeah, that's. That's. that's so, the, yeah. you set out on the trail. We find the pie. <laughs> No! You are offered bits of pies and uh, trail rations. No! No! No more pie! <laughs> Come on! I bet it's tasty! Nah! I'm sure I got quite a few mouthfuls of it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> we were, we were practically drowning. Yeah! See, that's what bothers me! <laughs> We have capabilities! Deep fried swallow poppers, I'm just saying. Yes! We've invented deep frying a pig. This is the thing, like, humans would pay good money <sighs> for good food. And thus the goblins open the first TGI Fridays. It all agrees. Whatever! <laughs> Thank goblins, it's Friday. Right. Thank you for picking Yeah, up. of course, the test you have to go to get the management position <laughs> is ridiculous. <laughs> So you're going to be manager first, we'll stick your face on the deep fryer. Every menu has a sturge tied to it. <laughs> Whoever keeps it on there the longest wants to be the manager if they live. <laughs> this change little manager is two days. <laughs> you set off. Want to be a franchise owner? Strap seven live caps to yourself and throw yourself under an ice cold waterfall. <laughs> if the blood loss doesn't get you, you can have a franchise. You are walking through the woods, <laughs> following the map. I sure, why the hell not? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm well. sorry, you're a leader. <laughs> yes, leader. What? You're leader. following the map. Yes, go ahead. We're going to follow hey, leader. Them. Maybe you should give them a marching order. I put...
the men's in the front. Okay, six o'clock. Come on, we gotta finish this in two hours or less. Um. Oh, that's my alarm clock going off. Well, well, the... Time to wake up. Yeah, that's time to wake up yesterday. <laughs> no, I woke up at <laughs> six o'clock oh. yesterday. People are waking up again, Christian. So that I would be ready for when you got here at 7 instead of 6.45 listening to me belt out songs. It was like 6.53. Whatever. At least we weren't late. I have no feel for our Google. Determine the marching order. And then we'll make a perception check. Um. After the marching order. We'll put... Crazy pants in the front. Would you like to blindfold me? <laughs> and then... Get <laughs> with the map! You can read this, right? <laughs> and then read it, and then... This is how we did it in training. The Unabomber, and then Ryan. <laughs> you put the Unabomber in the middle of the group? Yeah. So we can pull you all up at once? Kim, he's literally juggling lit bombs. I... I have hey, a Maui? flaming necklace. I have great balls of fire. You saw the way they select their leaders. You you can't complain that they don't get competent leaders out of that. I Sorry. Can, I certainly can. It's I'm really wearing my skull hat and my eye patch. <laughs> On both eyes. No, no, no. I have, a, I have an eye patch with a yeah, hole in it so check. I can see. Screw everybody. Perception check. Oh. It's listed in my That's items. One. Oh, is it? What sort of crap is in my items? Amazing oh. stuff. I don't see anything. Neither does Scott. Twenty-two. That's a, that's still an eight. Twenty-three. Uh, just to be clear. Okay. Fortunately, you don't need much to hear this. I named my frog Fat Frog. <laughs> it came from the I don't think I even have a frog. I still have. My you don't have a frog, frog actually. I have Spotto. That's so sad. You have a frog made of a name. Go. <laughs> no, I don't want. Queen Frog. I have three metal skewers. I also have a spider. Ooh, don't tell the chieftain. And a raven. But a live raven? No, it's stuff. Oh, okay. Well, but so that would just mean I overfed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Who the hell knows? If you'd brought a live raven into the camp with the bird cruncher tribe, you would have been fed it by now. And a cowbell, which it notes I am wearing. As a robe with a plus 18 in stealth, I am wearing a cap belt. Oh, that's impressive. <laughs> no, no. What's like that? I didn't see anything. I'd like to do some item adjustments. Number one, I'm removing the cowbell. Your stealth goes to plus 30. I also I'm apparently... smart enough to do that. I'm also apparently lugging around a, a, a lit jack o' lantern with me. What? I have a uh, pumpkin head lantern. <laughs> yep. That's exactly what it's and My like. toad's name is Amphibier. You know what? This is, this is what happened. So I have this pustular disease. Yep. Yep. Like, for, as a goblin, I am particularly disgusting yep. and repulsive. And so the goblins have shunned me. And yet I was born with this intelligence. I was born with the ability to see through. To you are society. the phantom of the goblins. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Someone get him an organ. No one will listen to me. I can. I'm like the only sane man here. In sleep he sang to me. In deep goblin voices. And that's why I just have all these pets, because they're the only things that love me. Especially the stuffed raven. You guys see him talking to that occasionally. You're my only friend. You're the only one I can trust. Blindfolds! <laughs> I'm a muscle true, I was at the crown! <laughs> Those are fellow goblins! Thankfully, Sean here is something. <coughs> oh god. I knew I was in trouble when we came home and the tribe had been wiped out and everybody was like, what can you do? Let's go join another tribe! Nobody thought maybe this is a problem that needs solving! Sean warns you about 30 seconds before a giant boar bursts through the forest! Guys, there's a boar bursting through the forest. I love, and I, need I, love. I need everyone to roll initiative, please. Okay. Oh, god damn it. 
I got a 13. Chuffy has a 13. Um, Sean? A four. What, what are you asking for? Initiative. Initiative. There's a fire breathing boar. I mean, there's a boar. How does something like that even happen, by the way? I'll How does tell you fire breathing boar? Momentarily. We actually have sort of an explanation for that. I actually believe that. Um, Sleepyhead? Yeah. Kim. No, the other one. Uh, Kim? You told me yours already. What? Initiative. Mr. Boom Boom? 22. Initiative. Nine for me. Could we not call him something that sounds like a euphemism for a child? Okay. 12. <laughs> it was 12. So, and he made a boom boom. You've never heard that? Uh, not for pooping, no. It's adventure time. What if you heard it? Never mind. I don't want to know. So this fire-breathing boar is just wandering around the forest? No, nope, it's charging directly at you. <laughs> I'm still waiting on Kim's initiative. I think she... Twelve. <laughs> nope. I don't think she's smart enough. <laughs> what? Not you. <laughs> the other one. Yeah, Kim, they're accusing you of tipping off the boar. <gasps> Not her. How could you? Uh, well... Scott's oh, already, Mama Crazy Pants! Scott's already <laughs> planning your ousting. I think we can work together. Yeah. By work together, you mean me working with your corpse? No, thank you, huh? I have this plan. See, if it's a five year plan. If Mama knows you're really in charge, Mama I don't know to kill you. You go first. There is a giant. Um, I'm by giant, I mean actually medium sized. Boar charging down on you. Okay. It has what appears to be two uh, gourds strung from a leather tether around its neck. Throw an bomb on its face. Nice. Good plan. Solid. It will be upon you in seconds. Six seconds. <laughs> um, about 18 to be okay. exact. Well, you gotta figure out there's some overlap in those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a 23. Hey! We're losing them. Are we? <laughs> no, they're saying uh, they're losing us. <laughs> the cowbell is your stick. <laughs> it's the last thing your enemy hears before you plunge your dong site. Dog slicer. <laughs> you dong That's not how you use a dog slicer! Flaming That's not slice in the room! Flaming dog slicer. I think why is my whole stupid <laughs> song about stabbing? Wait, That's no one uh, else is commenting on the flaming dong slicer? <laughs> really? Slicer. That's, uh, that's, that's... How much damage, please? It's seven fire damage. That's what I just woke up to. I'm okay if the entire so. goblin civilization wants to be incompetent. Just please don't impose that on me. <laughs> no, not that. I just, that's a slip of the tongue. That's fine. Uh, I'd also Chuffy. like to get out oh. of the way of the charge if I yeah, can. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. Trophy. That's nice. Of course, now it's staring directly at you. And then Bob will up on his face it's not staring at anything. No, it's probably not. Chuffy. Oh, uh, you're Chuffy. I'm yeah, sorry. I'm Chuffy. We have break at 6 in the morning. <laughs> that's okay. Is that... I'm going to command my flaming dog slicer to flame. Okay. And I am going to throw myself at the boar, praying to the goblin go gods. What? Zarin Gil. Yeah, whichever. Yeah, that one. Who can say Zarin Gil is best? To yes. just take me. <laughs> <coughs> this is it. Like, I become a goblin, like, the psychotic, <laughs> raving, like, I just want to die in battle at this point. He's Lieutenant Dan. Oh. So it does an extra d6 of damage, fire? Yes. Okay. There's no way that I could get a sneak attack now. Yeah, I didn't think so. Can you try to get behind it for a flank next turn? Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, I did not come anywhere. Oh, wait, 4 and 8 is 12. 12 on the attack, 13 on the attack. Nope. Yeah, okay. Me this. Your huh? turn. 4, attack. Boom. Attack the boar. Something here. Um, I have a fireball at it. Okay. Good job. I'm right next to it! <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's exactly why she's doing it. She heard about your coup. What coup? 
You're threatening her way of power. Wait, are you really right next to it? Yeah, he's yeah. really right next to it. All right, then I won't. It's only a type one. It's only 5d6. <laughs> one. You know what? Go for it. <laughs> Just look at him. End me. <laughs> I throw no, my... No, I have an excellent reflex save and evasion. Yeah, you'll be fine. So, I... so chances are actually pretty good that I would come through it fine. I throw my javelin at it. No. I am actually more concerned about whether or not the fire-breathing boar is actually resistant to fire. 21. Unlikely hit. For four. Unlike... Wait. I don't... I would... Wait. I don't know. How does it not set its own entrails on fire? Four. You know? Iron will? <laughs> that just means it doesn't care about being set on fire. That's... <laughs> well, it doesn't mind. It's actually, really, it's just a boar. It's no, it's not, because fire comes out of it. I'll tell you, well, let's turn. Four... This whole fire oh, rate points have been made up. I said four. <laughs> four? Did I okay. Four? Oh, I don't know. That was a Wait a minute. The gourds are hollowed out and contain alchemist's fire. Um, very close. The goblin, or the, the, wow. The boar, as it's charging, rocks its head and swings the, the necklace up, catches one of the gourds in its mouth, swallows it. It's a potion of fire breath. It's got elixirs of fire breath in gourds, yep. and it has been trained to swallow these things in battle, making it more competent than <laughs> three fifths of this party. Yep. Um. And our entire civilization. Yep. And then I join the boar. <laughs> I accept the boar as my leader. Fine. I will uh, fireball you both. Google. <coughs> uh, I would like to cast hold animal on it. Clever. A boar is actually a remarkably dangerous animal as it is. DC yep. 14 will save. Yep. It's got iron will. Of course it does. <laughs> I see you. Did you just it makes it. No. How do you even oh. train an animal like what? that to comprehend the idea Tell of them they're eat not. fire if in danger? Her eyes are open. Oh, how smart are boars? They're pretty smart. Yeah. Um, yeah, boars, boars, then move boars are actually pretty tell. smart. Um, but what it has intelligence more? too. That's smart for now. Uh, what concerns Rita. me more is that an ogre... I am going to fire an arrow mm. of an ogre animal ogre. bane it at it. Oh, I guess. Speak to animal. Yeah, fair enough. So they, they thought about the second half of this adventure, but Wait, they had a couple of drunk interns designed the first Well, that, that's... Yeah. Uh, no, 30 attack Hit. for... <gasps> Six damage. Death, right? Oh wait, 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 wait. But see, this is the thing. Like clearly, like they just ten didn't damage have enough to fill the adventures. Yeah, and they're like, down. well, what can we do for the first half? Right. It's like, well, what if they play double dare? Yeah, pretty much. Only stupid. Without the option to not take the physical damage. Right. Uh, back to top to mod merch. Um, if you're gonna use a bomb, a scotch <coughs> right next to it. B, Let me die. There's at least still two more combats. <laughs> yeah, I'm Engines. gonna uh, I'm gonna go for Brook and uh, Bomb Scott. No, no, I'm just gonna. I have a great reflex save and evasion. Your club? Yeah, I mean that's the only other option I got, right? Just a bunch of wands. Do I actually have these? They're not listed in equipment. You have gear. Oh. There's a there's a combat gear and an other gear, um, which probably contains some combat items because these are poorly written characters. I use potions. my child's doll. With I'd like the to eyes use my potions of identify. Yeah. Yes, the it's a boar, okay. carrying a potion of fire breathing. Okay. Which you see after you drink the potion of identify. I only have one. I was those. excited for the cooking contest. Oh, <laughs> I was too. <laughs> I well, had. You were in a cooking contest. I seem to have. You were just the ingredients. I, I had a just jar of acid. human perfume, I, half drunk. Like that's a weapon. Okay, I'd like to use a jar acid. of pickled halfling okay. toads. Uh, throw attack. A pocket full okay. of caterpillars. So I have a bottle of brine soaked decks. alligator eyes. Oh. So that's actually good for flavor because it's salty. What the hell is. Who's attacking this guy? Base deck plus okay, there we go. Oh my god, that's those a lot. alligator eyes count as one of the trail rats. Yes. Hit. Yeah. Okay. Um, I also have so a skewer. We could have done like a, a reflex save. 
please? Yeah. <laughs> He's trying to acid splash you. Uh, damage? Uh, uh what? What? Oh, oh, what? That's it's annoying. It's not on your list of what acid does. It's totally on there somewhere. Find it. More than one of you has acid, so someone help him. I have a tinder twig. Yeah, that's not it. Do you have acid? I have a match, but one. Do I have an acid? Acid splash. One match. Yeah. Tell Jonathan the acid. damage. That's literally the definition got of two valuable to use. Acid splash. Oh, there it is. Oh, Jonathan's um, got it. One d six. Acid damage. Every creature within five feet. On Scott. Okay, that's only one point. Yeah. He makes a reflex save with evasion anyway. Okay. You have. I rolled a nine. You don't make it. You take one point, take of, acid one point damage. of acid damage, and I get I six acid damage, damage on the boar. I've just learned to expect this stuff. I'm a goblin. This is what a goblin's right. life is. Chuffy, you up? You Chuffy. Oh, Brian, or is it Chuffy? Chuffy. Brian's. Is anybody off. actually fighting this thing in melee yet? Just you. I'm an archer. <laughs> the feet, the feet, the feet. I'm actually the tank. <laughs> the, yeah, the fighter is an archer. Comes the sad realization. The, the, the shoe vest is. I literally have no damage output unless shoe someone vest. else is tanking. <laughs> I, I I could try, but I have one. No, it's fine. I got this. <laughs> Two hours to go. What the hell? Hey, the morning the shoe the shoe back. back. Yeah. Hey, Tony Shalhoub! <laughs> Man, Man, things went off the rails. <laughs> Boy, you have no idea what you missed, Mr. I, I have been screaming for an hour and a half about the failings of goblin society. But uh, Like, literally, that's not tanks. ridiculous hyperbole. Holy shit. What about you, uh, stab, stab, stab? Because I have a dog slicer, it doesn't stab. Let it slice, slice, slice. It's basically a meat. Oh, and it cauterizes. Yeah, fine. Dogs. I rolled another attack. <laughs> uh, you get a... That's a 20 armor class. You tie his armor class. Which means I hit, right? Yes. So one and three. That's four damage. You guys are wearing him down. Uh, Mavis? That's you. Um. You have a chance to kill the boar before he unleashes the gore he drank. Is there anything near it? Scott. Sure. <laughs> I'm it's fine. Gonna acid it. Okay. Uh, End me. Uh, End me. <laughs> Beast Wait. attack. Do it now. Kill me. Base attack plus dex. <laughs> plus a d20. I can't go back. I can never go back. At least I got my Arnold impression in at some point. What is it? I haven't gotten Bobcat in yet. Plus a five. No, 22. Hit. Wait, your acid is 1d10? Oh, no, that's not it. How did you get better acid than the alchemist? That's actually better. Nine. Your acid is 1d8? Yeah. Because have you seen what passes for job? No, it's not. It's not. Oh, I was just thinking Jonathan got hosed. I can't. I can't even <laughs> see. I'm so blind. <laughs> it's not that. The alchemist probably walked a tightrope. So obviously, those are freaking chemists. What is it? She's just gonna keep backing the base. What is it? Uh, I can't even see. It's four. It's four. Oh no! <laughs> the piggy survives. That's actually the, the boar's name, by the way, is Piggy. You get one point of acid splash. Can you see? No! You're the bar! Yeah, take oh, one. Uh, reflex save. <laughs> 14. 9 and 7 is 16. No, there was no reflex save. There's a reflex save. He has evasion. Alright. Oh, okay. There's always a reflex save and no evasion. That's not quite No, I know. It's, not. it's fine. I don't care. So now the uh, board belches fire. <coughs> and everyone except Scott. Because you're kind of on a side stabbing out now. Okay, I'm not. Okay, good <coughs> job. This is going to get really funny, guys. Oh, it's yeah, going to be probably. Good. Um, no. <laughs> I don't know why is it going to You know what a, you know, like a nuclear bomb <laughs> looks like? God damn it, oh, did yeah. they really not put the stats for. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
If you don't have the stats, you can't do it. What, for elixir fire, fire breath? breath? If I had my folder for Jace, I would know this, because he had them in the arena. It's in my car, which is not here. Oh. What? Uh, go to the PRD. You got a laptop right there. 620. If it's really that important. No, I'm going to roll 2d6 and call it that. That sounds good. Uh, DC 14 reflex to half. Uh, so I succeed on the reflex save, so with evasion I take no damage. <laughs> All right. Uh, everyone make a DC 14 reflex save. Kim, oh, only have to roll one. Oh, no, I'm rolling for my necklace, which detonates if it fails. Okay. It didn't I fail. Have. Anyone who fails takes six points. I'm sorry. Anyone who fails takes Ooh. 12 points. Everyone who makes it gets six. So you're basically okay. strapped for the time bomb? Yeah. Excuse me for one second. When we were going once they fire breathing boar. Yep. And she's the leader. She's the chieftain. Where is it? Well, she passed the contest. It's her pools. How'd you do on the Stooge Balance Beam test? Oh, great. Here you go. Have these explosives. Now go fight the fire. <laughs> <laughs> How's everyone doing out there? I don't think they can hear you. If you don't have the stats, then tell everyone you do and just roll something. Yep, exactly. Kim is about to pass out. Wake up, Kim. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> well, your face this is adventure has actually caused me to have a minor husband. <laughs> Wow. Good job, guys. Oh my god, we gave Bowie an aneurysm. <laughs> Probably. What? I have blood pressure medication if you want something. <laughs> See what one session with us does. In fact, I think I'm going to need Scott, to you're a suit. Your mind explodes. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, I have never had to put up with me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And I am totally off the rails right now. My spirit has been broken by this adventure. I just want you to know that. <laughs> so, did anyone die? No. Nope. No. All right, Google. Uh, I am going to God take out my wand of soundburst and cast soundburst at it. He has to wait three rounds before he can have another gourd. Kill the pig. Kill the pig. Kill the pig. Kill the pig. Uh, you have a fort save. For yeah, I do. For partial. Why is everything we're carrying um, fire based if we're going against fire breathing, over, That's what they fire breathing for us? Uh, 11? Because, well, come on, they didn't make, make these magic items. They stole them um, from the boar. So he takes <laughs> five. <laughs> five? And he's stunned for one round. You sure it's just five? You sure that dice doesn't say six? You killed the boar! I'm so positive it says six. Look at that! Woo! It's DM magic! I just lied about its hit points and said, oh, it's dead. I had the six drawn right there. They can't see it. Was he looking? Could have been. I've been trained. If he calls you on it, it's okay to slap him because he broke the rules first. So I use the DM stick. What? No, you just slap. Slap it. Fine, you can use the DM. That's a square and angry bingo. On anyone except me. This is getting better all the time. I just wanted Ryan initially. Bingo! What is it about being in the DM's chair and wanting to hit Ryan? I get it. I have no idea. <laughs> I, just, I, I know. Did you want to hit yourself when you were sitting over there? Yeah. Okay. You killed four! Great. This doesn't feel like a victory. Taco Bell is not being kind. No, <laughs> no, it's not. It's There's really kind one of anyone. unused gourd on his neck. Ryan's, You're trained. Ryan's got immunity. Those are the Jews at the test potential judges or barristers. Ryan's got <laughs> plus two. Anyone want to grab that? Bad fast what? food. The one remaining fire breathing gourd? Thus. Until. Okay. Do you continue on to the farm? I'm so going to figure out how to turn it on myself. 
It yep. didn't just eat them all. It, it can eat just one at a time. One elixir and yes. one breath. <laughs> Is that good? Okay. Is that good? Okay. You arrive at the farm! Surrounded by a rickety wooden fence and thick mud, Munchmeat Farm. But we're prepared to cross mud. Slumps in a soggy valley. Wait, I don't have my human boots. Between the tours, a slimy looking creek winds through the farm with sturge posts. No, I'm just kidding. With barely anything going on. A house in the center of the fenced in area. Right to the flavor text with barely anything to look at. That's basically a minute I couldn't think why of. Why is that? Like, which is barely. Why is the witch lady still talking to us? Is she just like following us? She's just narrating? She's narrating. Yeah, well, she took a couple portions of invisibility and she's walking around behind you. <laughs> oh, man. It's <laughs> like crazy. Cray, cray. A house in the center of the fenced in area leans against two hefty buttresses. <laughs> holding up three buttresses. Buttresses is a funny way. Holding up three lots. <laughs> Large beers. It's balanced on numerous thick log stilts that create a cage-like hollow in the mud below the building. North of the house are See, a few build on the chicken mud. coops, and to the west, an, upter uh, an upturned rowboat, propped against the fence, has been built into an impromptu shelter. Mm -hmm. A shed sits to the south of the building, and south and east of this shed are a few tired stretches of garden that look like they're best at growing mud and weeds. Basically, two things that don't grow around in the cluster. It looks like this. You can pass that amongst yourselves. Someone show the camera. We go get this. This, this oh, is Shub said he got a bingo. This is like a paradise. Is it because I slapped Sean? It's so much better than our housing plan of sure hope we find a hole in the ground. <laughs> Goblins for generations. No, it hasn't. Nothing about it works. Goblins have Nothing. been living off of pigeon jerky for years. <laughs> I don't know if it's trembling. I don't really know if I want to. Syphilin Ollie. 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 Below an archway made of broken branches and bleached bones. A sign hangs from the arch, its words scrawled onto the wood with what looks to be blood. Three severed, maggot-covered goblin heads sit on poles driven into the ground to the left of the gate. I thought that was what was written on the sign. I was waiting for it to say what was written on the sign. The second and then sign. it goes into three severed goblin heads. Like, why would you just write that? You think that's going to fool anybody? <laughs> oh god, they got three severed goblin heads! A second sign leans against these poles under the edge. Both signs are written in common. The one hanging from the arch says, Tress prefers T R E S P S R S. Will the letter B eaten? The other one says lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> the one near the goblin heads, which you can infer probably belong to former chieftains of the bird cruncher tribe, reads Use goblins, taste young. Send more goblins. Okay. Use goblins. Let's nuke this bastard. I have I have a crazy idea, guys. Uh, go home? No, no, no. <laughs> go somewhere else? I have flaming arrows. It's a wood building. Yeah, I have, I have a wooden... Wait, I have a... Shitload of that fire bomb necklace. Fire bomb green fire now. <laughs> we all just nuke the building. Go. There is no visible lock hanging on the gate. The fence is about nine feet high, but very shoddily made. <coughs> you can easily climb over it or wriggle through it. Or goblins. nuke it. Fence? Don't no, you want to move in here? Scott wants this as your new home. What? I mean, Chuffy wants this as your new home. It's a farming paradise. Have you seen how we live? <laughs> this is like... Maybe if we burn it down, it will be better than the whole... But I have a whole community oh, shoot, to worship me. you have me. no idea. You don't have a community! You have, you no have a hole on a goblin civilization that is desperately trying to collapse around you! Oh god, god. <laughs> They baked us in the pie to add flavor for the ogre to enjoy. <laughs> yeah, I got there. You've been seasoned. 
Yeah, we we basically been sent as the next sacrifices to the ogre, and we're stupid enough to do it. Except I'm not. <laughs> so, what would you like to do? Bird the fucker out. <laughs> it suddenly all makes sense. You <laughs> estimate that there are well, you know that there are two ogres who live here, except the steerage thing. How the hell did that help? That was just funny. <laughs> 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 what else are we going to do with ten pairs of human boots? <laughs> Nothing! You throw them away! My point exactly. You don't have to use everything. everything. Reuse the leather. <laughs> no, reduce, reduce, this is recycle. not like some Native American we use every piece of our prey thing here, okay? But the I like that our prey is human boots. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're about as threatening as kittens. We so. got them, guys. We hunt them down. But yeah, so like I, for a second I was on board. I'm like, okay, so they were actually Jonathan, softening us up. This is why I didn't run. <laughs> Wait, black <laughs> ops? Is it time, time for black ops? Yeah, but the rest of them, with the mental state they're in. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's pretty true. But like, they would have woke up. I mean, but then that what? still doesn't explain the steerages, and it doesn't explain the pigeon shooting blindfold thing. <laughs> that was just funny. We killed fellow goblins. Just trying to learn to use the force. Goblin, just one. Yeah, only one died. That was luck. <laughs> that could have been a bloodbath. <laughs> I mean, if they hadn't gotten third level adventurer goblins, could you imagine if it had been commoners? <laughs> <laughs> Instead of aiming for the birds, I'm just fired straight into the ground. <laughs> so, what do you want to do? I want to go home. <laughs> but not home, home. This is your new home, Scott. We you're going to love it here. I'm all I'm all for torching the entire compound. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Are you guys sitting outside the gate having this conversation, by the way? Yes. Okay. You see a thin tendril of smoke rising from the chimney on the house. All right, somebody got started before us. Let's finish the job. <laughs> Are you going to stand outside the fence and do this? That's probably another thing we haven't mastered. Let's fire How inside. How far away the house? Less than 520 feet? You're at number one on the map. I, I take out my wand of fireballs and cast a fireball on top of the house. The nearest part of the house is 16 squares away from you. So yes. I'd like to try to... Light the house on fire. Okay. Um, you want a fireball? Um, makes a what? How big of a fireball? 20 foot radius. Nice. Yes. <laughs> okay, and that does how many damages? 3d6. Go ahead and roll that. Burn these fuckers. <laughs> As the fireball appears in the air, you see what you think is two large birds of prey attempt to take off from the roof fleeing, but are caught in the fireball and instantly vaporized. And the flammable thatched roof of the <laughs> house starts to burn rapidly. I've had them do this to me too. <laughs> <laughs> and at this point, you hear an ogre bellow in rage. Oh god, he's a bellow in No, he's a druid. We already established that. <laughs> he just raged! Oh, you can multiply. You said it! <laughs> you hear a Druid Barbarian is surprisingly effective combo. More feminine ogre yell. And some kind of strange shrieking noise. And at this point, I need everyone to roll for initiative. You have woken up. Unfortunately, what could have been several encounters split up. The entire dungeon. Yep. Into one. That's how I dealt with it, too. <laughs> I had the entire dungeon come out, pouring out the door when it caught fire and huh, killed them. Huh? Guff. It was pretty much a bloodbath, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Okay, so if we just stay here and wait for them Welcome to, come, to our side. We can, we can bottleneck Princess. about the gate. <laughs> the other pig is named Princess Cracklin. It's horrible. How's the interwebs doing? Uh, no, there, there's, there's shoe, it's, it's not a, it's not a baby. Not a baby ogre. Uh, the other option is a 
pet banshee. I brought really cool minis for this one. <laughs> I painted it, not this Aww. thing myself. I just want to show you what I show, show, show the the Uh The Shriek, you see a, a large, oddly shaped creature emerge from the described area underneath the house. It's a goddamn dragon. Uh, no, I'm not falling. a dragon. Uh, it is large and bear-like, but with wings. It is an owl bear. I was close with bear. You actually said owl bear. Also, Did I? yeah. Yeah. Okay. Look at painted owl bear, guys. Awesome. That's really Good cool. Job. I like it. I like yeah, it. I like sure. it. Okay. And it's still a ridiculously stupid creature. Yep. But I think that's the only thing I brought that I painted. This camera's on on the table. Oh. Yeah, the table camera's on. Shh. Uh, up and, up and towards it. No, towards it, man. You gotta show, you gotta show them up close. Down a little. Especially the eyes. The eyes are creepy. In the meantime, I'm gonna roll for some That's probably good. Ready? Mm -mm. What you guys will never know, because you're gonna burn the house down before, is that, uh... They're fine. Well, never mind. I'll tell you I'll find the less I know about this world, the better rough I am. Just some extra money you could have made. Oh, good! Money! <laughs> So you can buy a new We have no economy! What am I gonna do with them? Go to one of the not human controlled cities and live there happily. 